Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. We're going to get old Foghorn Leghorn out again and play with him this week. That is our Home to Roost stamp set. This is a celebration item we have that is available until the end of March. So you can earn Foghorn with your $50 purchase. You can get this stamp set for free. And this is a card we're gonna create today. This was, um, I think I saw this one at one of our meetings locally here. And so I uh, cased that and we did this in one of my classes. So I wanted to show you how we did how we did create it. So we're gonna start off with a piece of Whisper White and uh, black ink. You can use Memento Black, you could use Stays on Black, whatever works for you. And we're just gonna stamp some chickens. Just randomly around here at the, at the top because the bottom's gonna get covered up. So we don't need to worry too much about um, his head coming over here there we go and while I have it out I'm gonna go ahead and take I have a stitched circle shape and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp uh, leghorn right on there okay so <clears throat> uh, I guess while I still have the blackout let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment as well so I just took the just a note and I'm gonna stamp that on a piece of crumb cake and I'm just now wondering if I'm over far enough, but we shall find out. All right, let's get this out of the way. The next thing that I did was took one of our Stampin' Blends and I'm not sure which color I wanna use. I think this is Cherry Cobbler and I'm just gonna color in his top. So he's gonna be a white chicken, but his, his little comb and whatever that jiggly thing is, that's gonna be red. And just do a couple of these. Um, now I guess I might wanna say, if you are going to color with your blends, you might wanna make sure you are stamping with Memento ink just to make sure that it doesn't run. Um, because of being alcohol markers, sometimes the stays on ink could uh, cause a problem it could be it could bleed a little bit so you would definitely want to use your memento ink if the blends the stampin blends are what you're going to be coloring with so we're just going to give him a little pop of color right there all right and then we're kind of ready to put together. So I'm gonna take my white circle and I'm gonna layer that onto a black scallop shape that I already cut out as well. So just a little bit of that shows. All right, I don't have my glasses on so things are a little crooked today. And then I did a piece of real red and I went ahead ahead of time and ran that through the um, wood plank embossing folder so I don't often do that on camera so if you guys ever have questions just let me know but I, I tend to do that stuff ahead of time just to save save on video time it makes it a little faster and then I have a black strip that I just placed across here just where the two of them meet so now I've got a piece of black cardstock and I'm going to fold that in half to be my card base. Normally I have these scored but I did not have enough time and I'm having trouble seeing today. Too much sun today I guess. Alright, so there's our black cardstock, <clears throat> our card base and now I did do a piece of whisper white in here that way I'm ready for my sentiment I think I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna stamp this guy down in the corner I'm not gonna color him but he's just there peeping at you when you open up your card so now this will get mounted to the front
I just, I just love, well, I want to trim that off. I see a little bit of white there and I don't like that. So I'm just going to snip that off because I just love black and red together. I think that's just so gorgeous. All right. This guy is going to get mounted with some dimensionals. This card comes together very quickly and simply when you need a card to just oh you know what else I wanted to do pull in my crumb cake blend and just color in the dirt there under under his feet a little just give that a little bit of color then I'm gonna take our classic label punch and punch out our note and I was off a little bit. I would have liked, well, no, there we go. There's a little bit, a little bit more along the edge there. And then I'm gonna take just another dimensional on the end here, and then a little bit of adhesive on the back side. So it's gonna go right across here. And then our final step is to take some of our linen thread <clears throat> and I have whoops I have two pieces here and what I'm gonna do is double them up and tie a double bow because foghorn leghorn is he's fancy so we're gonna make sure he's got he needs more than just one little piece of string to make his bow tie he needs two <laughs> All right, and you're just gonna keep working it so that it's fairly small. I mean, that's a little smaller than what I wanted, but that's okay. And a mini glue dot, and that's all you need to just stick that little, his little bow tie on him. So he is a very fancy guy today. And then you can just trim off all these little strings that are kind of hanging off there. All right, so there we go. A super fast, quick, fun Foghorn Leghorn card. So don't forget, Home to Roost is available until the end of March. March 31st celebration ends. These go away. They're, they, you are not able to get them unless you are part of my celebration after party contact me if you're not sure how to be a part of it because celebration does continue for those special guests in april but for the general public march 31st you can only get foghorn leghorn until then so thanks so much for joining me you guys have a wonderful week and i will see you next week for movie monday